What is the net ionic equation for the reaction between HF aqueous and CaOH2 aqueous? When writing the full ionic equation for a reaction, the formulas of strong acids and ionic compounds involved in the reaction are written as formulas of separate ions. This is to reflect the fact that the ions are not paired or clustered in solution. They are in fact evenly dispersed throughout the solution and are individually hydrated. If upon writing the full ionic equation we find that nothing actually happened to some of the ions, we call these spectator ions. We will then take them out of the equation and we get what's called the net ionic equation. Let's examine what we have here. HF is a weak acid. Since it is not a strong acid, we should not write it as separate ions. It is written correctly in choices A and D. It is not written correctly in choice B. Therefore, choice B is incorrect. Calcium hydroxide is an ionic compound. In aqueous solution, it should be written as separate ions, as in choices B and D. It is not written correctly in choice A. Therefore, choice A is incorrect. Choice C would be the full ionic equation if calcium fluoride were insoluble in water. In other words, it would be the full ionic equation if the calcium and fluoride ions were to remain dissolved. In fact, we know from solubility rules that calcium fluoride is insoluble in water. It will precipitate out, so choice C can't be right. In fact, choice C can't be a net ionic equation anyways, because it includes a spectator ion. Calcium ion appears on the left side and on the right side, so choice C is incorrect. And then choice D must be the correct answer. Another question you might ask is how would we know that the products are water and calcium fluoride? You should be able to recognize that HF is an acid and calcium hydroxide is a base. For an acid-base reaction, the products are water and a salt. Our salt here is calcium fluoride. The water comes from the combination of hydrogen ions from the acid and hydroxide ions from the base. The salt then comes from the two remaining ions.